In this particular exercise, we're going to turn some of the LED on. And so here we have the LEDs there up here. You can't quite see them at the moment, but we're going to try and turn them on. And we're going to turn them on in sequence. Okay, so I'm going to go to LED and I can plot an LED. There we go. And so when button A is pressed, so on my input button A, if I did that and did plot button A, you can see what happens. Here we go. Click and the light comes on. Now what we're interested in is turning on the lights for this first row. So I've got naught naught, and then I want to add those in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a loop. Now here's a loop which says repeat a number of times. Okay, but that I don't want to repeat exactly the same, slightly change it because obviously I want to plot naught and then one, two, three, and four. So instead of that, I'm going to use the for loop. Okay, now the for loop comes with an index. So I'm going to go between naught and four, and I'm going to plot the x, x and y. But instead of that, I'm going to replace the value naught with index. So index will start at naught, then it'll go to one. So this will be one, then two. So I'll plot naught, naught, one, naught, two, naught. Okay. Where's the value of index? Well, it's a variable. There it is. Now plotting that. So I'm just going to go around from naught to four. So naught, one, two, three, four, and see what happens. I'm going to run this now and see what happens. Here we go. And I press button A, and the lights came on. Now, of course, that's all going to be way too quick. So that I'm going to just slow it down a little bit by putting the four there. I'm going to put very sat in that just in there. And whoops, not two, two hundred. And see what happens now when I reset. I press button A. Press button A. And all should be well. So here we go, we're going to run it now. Start the simulator, press button A, and you can see that the row lights up. I'll just go out to 300 then. I'll just see what it's doing. It. See this actually going to do it, which is good. So I've got my first row going. Now, of course, I now want to drop down from row naught to row 1. So I need another one of these loops. Okay, so I need to create a new loop. So I'm going to loops create a new loop. Well, I can't call it index, otherwise I'm going to get confused. Okay, So my index now needs to be a new variable. I'm going to call this index 1. Okay, so I'm going to use index 1 in here. Okay? So this for loop, index 1, once I've done this, I'm going to do it inside this loop. So this value will start at naught and then 2. So this goes inside here, and the whole thing should turn all these lights on. You have a go at that and see if you can come up with a solution.